These colors are no coincidence. This crib wasn't there a moment ago. And Cupcake's great aunt, second cousin twice removed, was a Pegasus. Uh, that makes sense, right? It does make sense. Since they're twins, that proves Earth ponies can indeed carry the genes of other pony types. However, it's still a sin for the subtly implied joke. Thing. This frame. These... things... Uh, these things are hideous. Just a reminder that ponies poo and pee. Inner leg cutie mark. I don't know which is worse, changing diapers with hooves or changing diapers with your mouth. Mrs. Cake throws these bottles into the air, but apparently the tray sticks to the ceiling. Pinkie Pie moves so fast she disappears for a few frames. The majority of the main six have something interesting going on that could have been made into their own original episode, but we're stuck with Pinkie Pie babysitting. It took them almost 40 episodes to make that pun, because dropping babies is funny. Rarity reacts this way when asked to babysit because she's busy with a baby of her own. Mr. Cake carries the cake from the kitchen, then Mrs. Cake also brings out the exact same one. The babies aren't wearing diapers here, then they suddenly appear here. A sin for these babies, because it is impossible not to smile at Pinky. Pinky's bottom lip appears to have been borrowed from Twilight. You would think some pony that dedicated their entire life to making others smile would at least know some halfway decent jokes. Pinkie Pie's ground shadow ignores the spotlight. We were waiting for smile, 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 and we got this. Only bronies from 2012 will truly understand the pain. This broom phases through a wall. Disappearing flower dust. <laughs> she sounded like a ho- Oh. Two handles? One handle. This tub has no drain. Pinkie's reflection is facing the same way as she. Holy crap, that arm. Pinkie Pie grows a giant ego out of nowhere because the script needed to get rid of Twilight. This looks like it could potentially be a human and a moon. Could this be an Equestria Girls foreshadowing? Boneless's forgotten brother. As a pretend old-timey western fort. Old-timey forts are in southern Equestria, not western. Do not put anything in our mouth that we cannot safely and properly digest. Pumpkin cake is highly digestible. Pinkie Pie walks down this hallway, then back for no reason whatsoever. It must be awfully hard to teach a young foal not to chew on things when the only way you can take it from them is with your mouth. Pinky locks the chest, it magically opens, then Pumpkin removes the chains. What's that? You want a logical explanation for how unicorns learn magic spells? Screw you, unicorns are OP. Any pony that makes Pinkie Pie cry deserves to be punched in the face, but you can't punch a baby, so uh, this paradox deserves a sin. Little did Pinky know, Pound just wanted his pacifier, and Pumpkin was simply in the mood for pie. Uh, could someone remind me what today's lesson is? I don't think it was made very clear in the episode. Responsibility. Responsible. Responsibility. Responsible. Responsibility. 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 Uh, let me check my schedule. Every day I'm shuffling.